Now one last thing, since we mentioned authentication, let's try to do a simple authentication with Postman. And for that again, we're gonna look at the documentation of HTTP bin. And you will see here that under auth methods, let's have a look at this peer. I'm gonna call this endpoint. Open a new tab. And type in HTTP bin.org slash beer. Submit a request and I'll get this status code 401 unauthorized. And I'm getting this status code because I haven't submitted something that the server expects. And what the server expects is that I send some credentials with my request and I haven't done that. And the way you can do that in Postman, and there are a lot of authentication methods that are available. In this case, I'm only showing you a very simple example, but inside the course Postman, the complete guide to REST API testing, I'm presenting basic authentication OAuth to using tokens and many others. Now for this simple example, I'm already inside this authorization tab. And what I will do here is to select from the list beater token. And I'm presented with this information. I can give a token here. And because this is a test endpoint, we don't actually have a token. So we're just going to type in foo or anything. The server just expects that we send a token with our request. And now when I click send, the status will be 200. And it says authenticated true, token is foo, token has no importance, but as I said, the server expects that we send this token. Now, right after we sent this request, something has changed. And you probably see here under the headers tab that a new header has been added. And you will see here that this is a temporary header that was generated by Postman. But this is what makes this request work because the server expected a header called authorization and then a value bearer space who or any other value. And by using this editor here, by using this panel in Postman, Postman did that automatically for us. Of course, we can just simply say, we don't want this. You can say no authentication, this will not work. And can say here, authorization, bearer, and give, for example, food two as a value. And you'll see here that our token now is food two. So there are multiple ways on how to do it. By having the authorization tab, Postman already has the most common authorization types available for you to easily configure, but as I said, HTTP is just a protocol and Postman exposes all the information that you need with your request in order for the server to understand what you're trying to say. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will highly appreciate if you can click right here on the subscribe button and on the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, there's so much more to learn about Postman and in this series, we basically just scratched the surface, but hopefully gave you enough information in order to use Postman in your own projects. So if you want to master Postman, API testing, workflows, continuous integration, and much more, make sure you check my Postman online course. I'll be posting a link with a huge discount in the section below. If you have any questions or need any help, I'm there for you. So get in touch with me by leaving a comment in the section below. See you next time. Bye bye. And just click here to continue with the next video. And subscribe right here below. Come on, don't keep me waiting. Click subscribe and then continue with the next video.